Hi everyone, this is Mr. Neil Wright, it's a consultant audiologist and director of ClearWax. Thank you for joining me in this latest demonstration video of our recently developed Waxscape, um, uh, which is due to be launched in early December 2022. So if you are interested, please do feel free to email info at clearwax.co.uk and we should add you to our mailing list. This patient um, attended with bilateral, you may be able to see it's fully impacted medial earwax and they'd used a cotton bud and we're just commencing with this their right ear and this ear was extremely painful the patient was extremely anxious as well and they were unable to sleep yesterday due to the pain in this their right ear and obviously we've discussed the the risks of using cotton buds and so i'm just using our 4.25 millimeter speculi uh, we've got a smaller size than this a 3.5 millimeter and two larger sizes a 5 millimeter and a 5.75 millimeter and this wax is really really impacted on the eardrum you can possibly just see uh, at nine o'clock some of the posterior aspect of the eardrums becoming in view now um the key to this procedure, because the patient is really anxious, even before I was going into their ear, they were quite um, anxious and um, they weren't really steady. So what's crucial for me is to remove this wax. And if there's any peripheral, non-significant um, residual wax, uh, I'm not overly concerned. And in fact, you will see, once I remove this plug, there's a bit of wax around the edge. I did attempt to go back in just to remove it, but the patient was just a bit too anxious and... Um, we alleviated their symptoms. That's the thing with earwax removal. The key to earwax removal, we always express this and explain this to our clear wax delegates when they attend our training course, is to first and foremost ensure the patient can um, hear as well as they can. It's it's not about getting every little last speck of wax out. It's ensuring the patient is symptoms are alleviated as best to you, as best as possible, as best to your abilities. So even at this stage, the patient can hear significantly better because the wax is no longer on the eardrum. So this was directly impacted on the eardrum. Um, I'm just slowly bringing it away. So this now provides a clear uh, line of sight from the entrance of the ear to their eardrum, which you can see. There is a bit of wax, it's probably mid-canal on the superior um, wall. Um, so I'm just gonna go back in, see if we can remove that. I think even, the, you may have seen the camera came, I actually came out the ear because the patient was, um, wasn't was really steady. So, it, and that can happen, patients can be really anxious, um, particularly, uh, oddly enough, when they've used cotton buds themselves, because I think they've caused so much pain in their ear uh, by doing so, that it comes like a scheme of thought. They are uh, anticipating that same level of pain and when, uh, when we're going in the ears ourselves. It's more the anticipation, I think. So the patient did really well there. We just um, try to reassure the patient as much as possible. You can see now there's some non-residual um, wax keratin. It's just lining the base of the ear canal. So because we're nowhere near the eardrum, I thought, let me just go and I use a fine end suction process. It's less noisy as well. I thought, let's just gently peel this in. But even before I made contact, the patient was just not really steady. So I decided to come away. I decided to leave all this peripheral wax. We don't want to risk... Um, causing the patient any trauma or injury because uh, we can see the eardrum there we are so I've just got it in focus uh, fortunately the eardrum's intact no trauma caused so this is their left ear this is the um, the one that, this was also extremely blocked as you can see but it um, the patient didn't feel it was as bad as their right side so again I'm just dilating the ear canal now although this was impacted I don't think it was directly on the eardrum it was probably a few millimeters away it just blocked my suction probe there, so I've just tried to unblock it. I'm just going to get a suction grip, and I'm just, the key is to try to detach it from the canal wall. So here I can feel the resistance at the base of the ear canal, so I'm just lifting it up and away, up and away. Little movements. Again, it's just blocked the suction probe. Just getting the wax in focus, and again, just aiming for the, the floor of the ear canal here. So this is um, probably about two centimeters in. It's past the second bend. Second bend's just um, hidden away by the speculum on the left. Uh, it's just this little wriggle movement. You can probably just see at six o'clock uh, the annulus region of the eardrum. 
becoming in view. And it's come out in a big plug. And again, even at this stage, the eardrums, there's a um, clear line of sight, but again, just some wax superiorly and posteriorly mid canals there. Just thought, let me just go back in, see if I can get a bit more of this out for the patient as much as we can without um, adding to their anxiety or getting them or possibly causing any injury or trauma. And I think that's the key with being a clinical ear care specialist. I, perhaps I think everyone's guilty. I, probably I was, especially at the beginning. Uh, uh, you don't realise less is more sometimes. So we're just probably at the osseocartilinous juncture here, so probably about a centimetre, a centimetre and a half into the ear canal, just where the cartilinous portion and the bony part of the ear canal adjoin. So again, I can see the eardrum now. There's some posteriority, but we just I think I decided to leave that. We shall see. Got a good view of the eardrum there. Again, it's intact. Yeah, happy patient. So hope you enjoyed that video. Um, if you are interested in the Waxgate, um, please do email info at clearwax.co.uk. We should add you to our mailing list. Thank you. Bye.